Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful Sunday fun day. I know it is the end of the week, but look, it is such a beautiful day. Let, I mean, you should be going to the beach, go to the pool, go to, I don't know, take some sun in the terrace or in the balcony or, you know, wherever you are. I hope that you are enjoying enjoying this summer i know it's getting hot believe me you know that i am not you know a summer kind of person but i don't know this summer has something like a little bit different it kind of like seems a little bit appealing what do you think let me know what are you guys doing during this summer all right guys so um if you are new here welcome to everybody troop where we keep it real and we mention it all again because it is weekend we don't do one hour one hour show but we do a little bit you know a little uh, videos here and there so it is time to talk about the real housewife of atlanta okay uh because apparently well there is a mess going on okay Apparently, Bravo is really, really, really trying to understand or to know how to move forward with the Real Housewife of Atlanta after they spent months and months and months on negotiations, on talking to people, trying to bring together the perfect cast to reboot this shed after the mess that has been Atlanta during the past month. And they finally got a group together. The whole thing was moving on. And then, boom, Kenya does what she does. And now everything goes to shit, okay? It is so interesting how one person can, like, really make everyone shake. Because now they don't know how to move forward with the things that have been going on, okay? Do they show everything that happened with Kenya or they scrap everything and basically start over with the cast that they have right now, which is somehow not such a strong cast, okay? Everyone is very new. And the only the only faces that we have, uh, like that we know, is Drusy Dora and Portia Williams. However, Drusy Dora, I personally love Drew, but it's not like she has the biggest fandom in the world. And Portia, who is actually a big name, has not been able to completely film all the time, giving everything that is going on with her divorce right now. So she she's not going to be able to share as many things as they wanted to do right now. Okay, I think they were not expecting for Portia to be like being this contrived this season, you know, and that she was just going to mention it all. And now that is really not happening. And then we have Shamia, which girl. You know, we have uh, the three newbies, which no idea, you know, and that's pretty much it. Now that Kenya Moore is not returning to the show. What is going to happen? How they move forward, right? Now, uh, everyone is kind of like having an opinion. A lot of people are actually having Kenya Moore's uh, back. You know, left and right and across all the franchises, people are coming forward to show support for Kenya Moore because it doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, people are saying, uh, they're saying that she was fired, even though that she is trying to put out there that she chose not to return. She actually was fired. You know, that's what everyone is saying. She was fired because it, it was found that she actually violated one of the clauses of, you know, her contract by doing what she did uh on with, with you know with the with the pictures and all of that um but again i don't know if firing kenya is going to be the right thing everyone is talking about it you know like um Sheree whitfield is talking about it uh, candy boros is talking about it chanel ayan Teresa juda is like you ask around you know tamara judge everyone is talking about it you know because it is really a big thing atlanta is going through a big moment right now and honestly uh, um they don't know okay honestly like like firing Kenya right now is might have not been the smartest move and we're gonna have to wait and see unless the new ones are able to give us some kind of like new explosive drama that is gonna keep us entertained 
next season is just going to be bad okay now Sharae Whitfield did find uh did a little bit of an interview with TMC you know and of course she's supporting Kenya she's saying that an OG is necessary to anchor the reboot of the show and now with no OGs how is this even gonna work out you know she says that the only reason why she did not come back to the show was because the money was not right i don't know if she's trying to hint like well if you give me and more money i will definitely and happily be returning to help you out with the rest of the show however if you want me to be very honest with you even though i do like sheree the last season she has not been giving enough energy to like really like pay her a lot you know i will be more like let's bring phaedra parks back you know i will literally i saw this somewhere i was i thought this was a genius idea bring someone from mary to medicine to the real house of atlanta if you put quad who is no longer married to medicine but she could definitely be an amazing housewife if you put quad on this show bitch you will have a great show because Quad was made for reality TV. Even bring me Mariah, I I will live to see that on The Real Housewife. You need something that is really going to cut our attention. Bring someone from another franchise to, to Atlanta, which I don't know who. Maybe Robin Dixon. I, I don't know. Like someone... I know, I mean, the Roman Dixon just came to my mind, like, randomly. But, like, what I'm saying is, like, you need to give us something right now because nothing that we heard from Atlanta has been appealing to the viewers or to the fans. People are not excited, and this is supposed to be the Sweet 16s of Atlanta, and it looks like it's going to be a mess, okay? So they need to do something right now. Forget about the money. Put whatever money you need to put over there. But you need to bring us something that we are going to say, shit, this is going to be good. Now is worth watching it, you know? If you are not going to show what Kenya did, it's going to be even worse, okay? You need to really, really right now lean on the drama because you don't have anything going on. To me, they have to show everything that happened until Kenya then put an ad saying like kenya you know decided to leave after this whatever you know and then keep filming the aftermath of what happened you know and the anger of the other women because now they know that because of Brittany, kenya was fire right now um Brittany did put something against sheree she went and says tmc in atlanta interesting and then Sheree clapped back and said, alleged scammers on housewives. Interesting. Well, maybe, like, look, if Sheree is going to be coming back full force, all Sheree, like, who's going to check me, boo Sheree? I'm here for it, you know? But Bravo needs to do something, and they need to do it now. Anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this mess. And what do you think needs to happen with Atlanta right now in order for you to like tune in next season? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of Atlanta or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.